Hello my friends, welcome to the island of serenity, relax and inhale, feel it. We have two letters that you don't need to pronounce at all. I'm talking about these two guys, Mekki Znak and Tvrdy Znak. I can hear you muttering, why would you need letters that you can't even pronounce? That's a good question. Well. There are links between other letters in the words. Let's start with Mekki znak. Mekki znak makes words sound softer. Compare kon and kon or aprile. Without Mekki znak, this word would sound like aprile. There is a whole sea of examples. Just remember, you see Mekki znak you make the sound soft. For this, you need to put the tip of your tongue right behind your front teeth. Apri l l l. Tvrdy znak is a link between an affix and the rest of a word. You probably know a TV show called Supernatural. And if you don't, then we have nothing to talk about. Yeah, I know, I have an incredible sense of humor. Back to our topic. In Russian, the name of the show sounds like Sverhistestene. Tvrdy znak connects the affix Sverh with the rest of the word. So we can pronounce two words together. Sverhistestene. And without Tvrdy znak, it would sound like Sverhistestene. And it's not even a word. Let's make it easier. In English, we have compound nouns, noun plus now. For example, a bookshelf. Imagine that you put твердый знак between book and shelf, just to show that there are two nouns that are put together. The only exception is that it's always an affix in Russian. So that's how твердый знак works. Whew, that was hard. Sometimes I wonder what was going on in the heads of our ancestors but we will never know it. What are you doing, Ivan? Making Russian language impossible to learn. <laughs>